Hey guys, we recently covered the post launches conditions of the entire launch pad. Now let's discuss how close we are to the orbital flight, test of the next starship and a super heavy. But if you want to understand the current time, what's happening in SpaceX, next plan and then let's discuss. Next starship, the flight would be ship 28 and booster 10 would be the super heavy prototype just yesterday. Booster 11 arrived at the production site after undergoing cryo testing in Messi. It's worth noting that the booster 10 has the past this milestone. And it's just awaiting a static fire when the orbital launch mount post OLM is ready to host it. I anticipate that the B10 may be at the OLM within the next two weeks. SpaceX has placed it onto the engine installation stand in the Mega Bay. As for Ship 28, heat shield tires have already installed, and it is now set to undergo a testing campaign. We might see SpaceX testing Ship 28 very soon, especially since they don't need to prepare the suborbital pad for that. Testing could easily take place on one of the existing test stands. In the meantime, refurbishment on the OLM and ground system are underway and constructions of the suborbital sidewall is in progress. I am curious if there will be any modifications to the ship or booster. Following the orbital flight of S25 and B9, SpaceX is currently analyzing the collected data and we may see changes in the coming days. Regarding the FAA involvement after the orbital flight of S25 and Booster 9, the FAA shared a mishap occurred during the SpaceX Starship FT2 launch from Boca Chica, Texas on Saturday, November 18th. The anomaly resulted in the loss of the vehicle, no injuries or public property damage have been reported. The FAA will be overseas SpaceX led mishap investigation to ensure SpaceX complies with its FAA approved with its FAA approved mishap investigation plan and other regulatory requirements. For me, it appears to be a primarily a SpaceX investigation with FAA oversight. Presumably, involvement discussion and agreement on license requirements, restrictions, and offsets. Elon Musk here, his timeline for OFT3 staging, Starship Flight 3 hardware should be ready to fly in three to four weeks. There are three ships in final productions in the high bay. As can he see from the highway, these three ships are ships 30, 31, and 32 going for preparation work inside the highway given the current situations ft 3 is within January however the FAA timeline remains uncertainty something neither SpaceX nor we can predict from SpaceX's side it is expected that they will prepare both ships 28 booster 10 within two months including the within the completion of all testing by the way the pace at which SpaceX is moving is extremely mind-blowing following OFT1 they had to make around 1000 changes to the entire Starship system including of the launch pad which took several months to prepare for FT2. FAA and FWS also played a significant role in the delay, conducting a true investigation into the first anomaly considering all aspects of, of wildlife around the Boca Chica area. With a quick update, please share your thoughts on comment below. If you wanted to know about more information video, please do subscribe. Bye bye.